Okay, we're going to talk about pH. I think it's a term that you've all heard. Um, and you probably know that if something is uh, has a pH of 7, it's neutral. And you may know that if it's less than 7, it's an acid. If it's more than 7, it's a base. Um, but you probably don't know that pH is a way, simply a way of expressing the strength of acids and bases. And it, we can relate it back to the, the molarity of um, the acid. So if I have something like HCl, and I've got one molar, then I've got a pH of zero. Okay. Um, if I have something, let's say, stomach acid is also HCl, and if I have a concentration of 0 0.001, which is 10 to the minus 2, I have a pH of 2. Now that might not seem very strong, but in fact that's a really strong acid and it's really concentrated. It's so concentrated that it will, um, it would kill you if you had a hole in your stomach. Your stomach is the only place that can handle that level of acidity. And if that acid were to leach out of your stomach, it would uh, destroy your surrounding organs. Okay, so these are these are very acidic. Um, neutral, we our blood is uh, is just a little bit above seven. Uh, milk is a little bit acidic. Pure water, of course, is seven. When it's neutral and when it's not out of the tap, let's say it's distilled. Ammonia, you know that pH is very high. Um, so we're talking about a base. You know, all of this is a base up here. So if I have um, something that's very basic, like say one molar base, sodium hydroxide, the pH is the other extreme. Okay, so the scale runs from 0 to 14. Alright, so let's take a look. So the, the pH is just a way of expressing it's an easier way of expressing concentration than using the molarity. Okay, So if I have something that's got a pH of 7, that means that my concentration of acid, let's say of H plus, that comes from if I have HCl and it breaks apart, it's going to end up H plus plus OH minus. And what it says is the concentration of this, which is the same as the concentration of this, is 1 times 10 to the minus 7 molar. Okay? That's all it means. If I have something that's 1, then that's a 0.1 molar acid. 1 times 10 to the minus 1. If I have something that's a 3 pH, it's 1 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. If I have something that's 10, it's 1 times 10, oops, times 10 to the minus 10th molar. So I, I hope one of the things that you're seeing is this pH is the same as the, exp the negative of the exponent pH of 3 is the same as the negative of the exponent. The 7 is the same as the negative of the exponent. So that's really, this guy named Sorensen came up with this scale, and it was just a simpler way of expressing concentration than using molarity. So I can say if I have a pH of 13, then what I know is the molarity is going to be 1 times 10 to the minus 13. Okay? problem is if I say I have some 12.2 pH, it's not so easy because it's not going to be a one time something, it's going to be some other number. But I do know that the exponent is always going to be within one unit of what the pH is. Okay, so let's take a look. So in order to calculate the pH, we want to use the negative of the log of the concentration of H plus, right? So if I have a concentration of minus, uh, let's say, 11, my pH is going to equal 11. 
because the negative of the log of the h plus, this is the h plus, right, brackets mean concentration or molarity, the negative of the log of the h plus, this is the log of the h plus, and the negative of that is going to be 11. Okay, so here I have uh, concentration, molarity is 1 times 10 to the minus 10. So if I punch into my calculator, negative log 1 exponent, or whatever you need to punch for your calculator, minus 10, it comes back and tells me my pH is 10. All right, so try it, make sure you're able to punch correctly. So you punch, so here I am, I have a concentration, of, I have an acid that has a molarity of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. If I put it in brackets, that means concentration. This is molarity. And I just punch negative log. And then in the brackets in my calculator, I'm going to put in 1.8. Um, in my calculator, it's second EE minus 5. And you should get 4.74. If you need help punching, see me. I can help you out. Okay, so let's try this. So here I have a solution that has 0.15 molar HCl. So we know if I have 1 point, uh, 0.15 molar HCl that it's going to break up into H plus plus Cl minus. So if I have a 0.15 molar of this, I'm going to have 0.15 molar of this. And pH is really a measure of this, the H plus. Okay. So my pH is going to be my negative of the log of 0.15. Okay, and when I do that, my calculator says my pH is equal to 0.82. Okay. Let's say I have the 3 molar 3.3 times 10 to the minus 7th molar nitric acid, HNO3. It's going to break apart, give me H plus plus the nitrate ion. And if I have um, whatever molarity I have of the acid, I'm going to have the same molarity of the H plus. Okay, so my pH is going to be the negative of the log of 3.00. My calculator is second EE, whatever that is on yours and that's going to give me a pH of 6.5. Now one of the things I like to do to make sure I've, I've done it right is whatever number this is should be within one unit of this, right? Because if it was 1 times 10 to the minus 7, it's going to be a pH of 7. And if it was 1 times 10 to the minus 6, it's going to be pH equals 6. So you're always going to be, if this number changes to something other than 1, you're going to be within one unit of whatever this is. So it's always a good check. Uh, 0 0.15 is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 1. So 0 0.82, I'm within a unit. Okay? All right, so if I want to know what the pH of uh, Coke is at 3.12, um, now I am trying to uh, figure out um, what the concentration is, and I know the pH. Okay, so this is the opposite of the problem we've been doing. So what I know is the pH is the negative of the log of the H+. Plus. So I can take the negative of the pH, it's going to give me the log, right? I just change the negative, multiply it times negative 1. So if I take the anti-log, which in my calculator is 10 to the x of both sides, what I get is what I'm trying to find is 10 to the minus pH, and that's going to give me the concentration. So the question is, how do you punch this in your calculator? Um, so I want to get the function that on your calculator it says 10 to the x. And on my calculator, to do that, I need to hit the second log. But you're looking for this key. So 10 to the x, in my case, second log, and then minus 
3.12 and the calculator comes back with 7.6 times 10 to the negative 4 okay and again this 4 is within one unit of 3.12 it's a good check okay All right, so here we have a solution that has a pH of 8.5, and we want to know the molarity of the hydrogen ions in the solution. Okay, so if I have a solution that has a pH of 8.5, what I, what I know is the concentration of the H plus is going to be the antilog, so it's going to be 10 to the minus 8.5 so I'm going to hit shift log and then it's going to be minus 8.5 and when I do that I get uh, 3.2 times 10 to the minus 9 and that's the molarity right that's the concentration and this 9 is within a unit of 8.5. Oops, went too far. Okay, so let's take a look at the whole idea of pOH. So pH, if I go back, pH, I'll write it down here. This P means what is the concentration of H. Okay, so if I have pOH, I'm looking at what is the concentration of my OH. Okay, one of the things that I know is that pH and pOH are always going to equal 14. So if I know my pH, let's see, I have a pH of 6. What I know is my pOH is going to be 14 minus 6 or 8 okay because I know this relationship holds true but just like pH here is the negative of the log of the H plus pOH is the negative of the log of the OH concentration so let's take a look at how to do some of these so one of the things you um, if you look at the two extremes here this this first column is pH, the last column is pOH. And added together, they're always going to give me 14. So if my if my pH is 14, my pOH is 0. If my pH is 7, my pOH is also 7. If my pH is let's say 4, my pOH is going to be 10. Got to add up to 14. Okay. Same thing with the exponent, right? These exponents are going to add up. 14 plus 0 is 14. 7 and 7 are going to add up to 14. Okay, so you get the general idea. Alright, so let's find out what the pH of a 0 0.001 molar NaOH solution is. So this is a little bit tricky because it's asking for pH and this is a base so it's producing OH so I can find the POH not the pH but the POH by doing the negative of the log of the 0.0010 and when I do that I get 3 POH equals 3 so I want to know the pH it's going to be 14 minus my pOH. 14 minus 3 is going to be 11. Okay? So that's how you do that problem. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. It says a pH of rainwater collected in the U.S on a particular day was 4.82 what is the H plus concentration okay so if I have a pH of pH equal 4.82 and I want to know the 
H plus concentration. So I'm going to take the, um, for me it's second log, or which is give me the anti-log of negative 4.82. And when I do that, I get 1.5 times 10 to the minus fifth, and this is big M molarity, right? Here I have the hydroxide concentration is this, and what's the pH? So again, I'm, I'm talking about a base here, hydroxide, and I want to know pH. So I can find my pOH from this, right? So my pOH is going to be the negative of the log of my concentration, okay? And if I do that, I'm going to get 6.6. 6. So to get my pH, it's going to be 14 minus 6.6, 6, which is going to give me 7.4. Okay. All right, so here we have a solution that has a pH of 3.67, and we want to know everything about it. The H plus, the OH, the POH, and the pH. Okay, so if it has a pH is 3.67, it's going to be easy to get my POH. That's going to be 14 minus 3.67, and that's going to give me 10.3. Okay, if I want my H plus concentration, that's going to be the uh, anti-log, or the second log, of the negative of the pH. And that is going to come out to be 2.14 times 10 to the minus 4. This 4 is within one unit of this. That looks good. My OH concentration, I apologize, my handwriting is terrible. Second log of the OH concentration, which is going to be um, 10.3, negative 10.3, and that's going to give me 5.01 times 10 to the negative 11. And both of these are molarities. All right. I'm going to do the same thing with this. Something has a pH of 8.05. So my pOH is going to be simply uh, 14 minus 8.05, which is going to be 5.95, okay? My H plus concentration is going to be the, for me, it's the anti-log or the second log of negative. 8.05, and that's going to give me 8.91 times 10 to the minus 9, and that 8 and 9 are within one unit of each other. My OH concentration, and that's molarity, right? It's going to be the second log of my negative of my pOH, which is 5.95, and that will give me 1.1, whoops, 1.1 times 10 to the minus 6, and again, this is within one unit. Okay, so that's going to do it for this podcast, and...